Your final discussion board for this class is going to be your final presentation. In this, you're going to be just giving the main points of your paper. It should be recorded. It should have three to five visual elements, including the thesis, highlights, and an interactive activity. That is something that allows your audience to think more deeply about your topic or apply it to their lives. Now, two different ways you could do this. One, if you wanted to have your visual elements as something that's physical, physically with you in the room while you're doing the recorded presentation, you are welcome to do that. You could also do a screen capture presentation if you don't want to have your face in it and use something like Prezi or the course wiki in order to make that happen. So if you go to the course wiki, I have a final presentation example here that you can view. On this example page, you'll see first where you're going to put your title. And instead of that, I have why a cool title matters. A title is the most frequently read part of any paper or any presentation. It should introduce your topic, inform the readers, and also draw them in. So here are some links for making a good title. Make a great title, stick that up there first. Then you're going to want your thesis and your main points listed out and an activity. There should be, this should be very brief. This should not copy and paste the text from your paper. Instead, it should just highlight the main points and perhaps give an interesting fact or a visual. Now, what do you do with a visual? Here, it's a really cool illustration by Tommy Um uh, that went with an article for the New York Times. As a, a illustration for an article, it's great. As a visual for a presentation, this doesn't work. See, this is not informing us of anything or moving the argument further. It just shows somebody trying to work on a paper. On the other hand, this info um, pick, which is giving statistics or data that further supports a point, is a great use of a visual. Looking at this, glancing through it, you can get a sense of, even though this is a very poor quality image and very small, it's sending a message that emphasizes or highlights the point that you're talking about. So look for images that are meaningful like this to support the points that you're giving. Finally, conclude with an activity. So the activity could be a thought question. Have you ever used AI to generate material for a class assignment? Why or why not? Um, though something that direct probably isn't going to get a lot of responses. Or it could be something that's a little more interactive, like maybe a Cahoots or a Quizlet activity. Um, something, hey, test your knowledge on whether or not um, you know how to make the perfect pie crust. Exchange your favorite pie crust recipe here. Um, and, and talk, it's something to get a conversation going, something that helps the audience either apply what you're saying to their life or understand the topic a little more fully. So these are the, this is an example of what you're going to be doing. And uh, the main point here with this discussion board is that you've been working so hard in these papers and you've been developing them together. You've been giving each other feedback. Here is that sort of last hurrah where you get to see all the work that your classmates have been putting in all semester and get to connect. It's not the same as, of course, a, a live presentation, but reading feedback from each other can be a really uplifting way to end the year. So you're going to post this on Friday. You're going to reply to your classmates. And uh, I really look forward to what you do.